Oh. Got it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, my name is Mandy. I have been in the company now for almost five years. Actually, a memory just came up on my Facebook that it was a year ago today that I paid my car off and went completely debt free because of this business, which is really exciting. Um, obviously, I'm in Australia. I'm actually the number one in Australia, which still blows my mind because I'm just a small town girl with big dreams. And I always knew that I wanted more out of life. So let me just take you back a little bit. Um, when I first started this, I was living three and a half thousand kilometers away from my family in a really toxic relationship. And I was on work cover. So I've always been a hard worker. I've always had two to three jobs. And being on work cover means I can't go and get another job. And I saw a girl on Facebook posting about how she was making money from the park with her son. And I was like, I don't have kids, but like I'm broke and I need money really bad. And I'm already on social media anyways. Why the heck not? So I waited like a whole year and I didn't even end up joining her. Um, I joined somebody else that I went to school with and um, I went really slow because I was worried about what everyone thought about me. I relied on other people's opinions. I'm currently reading Think Like a Monk at the moment and it's just like, all of these mind-blowing little moments, but I spent a lot of time worrying about what people thought about me. I would sit there and have arguments about like to people like, yeah, you know, you should do this with me. You should buy this for me. I was posting super spammy. So if you're on here right now and you're a newbie um, and you're like, I don't know that I should be doing what these other leaders are telling me to do. Trust me. Like we have learned along the way. We're telling you these things so that you don't make the same mistakes that we do. And I post really spammy. I was bothering everyone. I think I started with a little over 300 friends. I basically had no Instagram, but I was willing to do whatever it took. Um, and so fast forward a little bit, I ended up going, I went Ruby in, I think two years. I promoted a little long, like it took me a little longer than everybody else, but I want you guys to know that it doesn't matter how long it takes you. The point is that you're still here. I actually have a friend of mine that's been doing this business for 10 years. She's an Australian. She's another diamond leader. And the point to me is like, there are so many people that come in and they say a $3 paycheck, a $20 paycheck, a $70 paycheck or a hundred dollar paycheck. And they're like, oh, is that it? Like I busted my butt for that. My paycheck, my first pay was a little over $3 and that's Australian. So it was a little over $3. My second month, I didn't even get paid. And my third month, I think I made $70 and it continued to go up from there. Um, and there's so many times that I could have been like, oh, is this all? But what I realized was that I wasn't putting in the consistent effort, to be honest, until probably a year and a half ago. So I ended up going Ruby in, two, uh, in a little under two years. And then I went Diamond. Uh, sorry, then I went Emerald. And then I went Diamond um, in June of last year. And then I kind of like hit Diamond and that was all I ever wanted. And I was like, well, what now? Um, and if I can encourage you of doing anything, it's having that next goal ahead of you, whether it's a next rank or a certain amount of people that you want to help, like always have that next chart in front of you because I lost, like I lost myself really quickly. I went diamond and I looked left and right. I was comparing myself to all of these other people. I'm single. I don't have a house. I live in, I live in a van. Um, and I'm about, I'm about to start traveling full time, but I was looking at all these people like, well, maybe I should have a house and maybe I should be trying to get married and Maybe if I had like kids, then that would give me more of a purpose. And I lost myself for a very, very long time. And if I can encourage you to do anything, it's don't let, look left and look right. And if you're looking anywhere, it's just to get encouragement. And now I follow all these other leaders that have got kids and got families and own big homes and that to inspire me to be like, well, they're passionate and I am too. So I find some kind of like similar thing for them. And I don't know if anyone's on here right now that's single and doesn't have kids, Um but it scared me for a long time because I was, it took me a long time to kind of find my purpose. So yeah, I went diamond last year and the last year for me, has just been a really big growth. I stopped working in September. I lost my, um, I lost my job in September and I said, I'm making more money from my phone and I'm the kind of person that you put me in a hard place and I will figure it out. I'm not someone that will like, oh, it's a scary. I can't do it. Like I will, I will figure it out. I will figure out a way. And that's exactly what I did. And I've grown so much in my leadership and in, in, in who I am as a person. Um, I went through a breakup in the last like six months and it just really, this business, you guys, I started it for money. I found my best friends and I found a purpose for myself and I've just, it's just truly allowed me to be who I am. And so I don't want you to think that you have to have you know, the prettiest of hair or you have to have the best background or anything like that. What I love about this business is as long as you have a good work ethic and you're willing to learn along the way, this can take you to all kinds of lengths. So um, 
that's a little bit about my story. I am pushing for double diamond, but at the moment I'm really just, I'm, I'm, I believe in the universe and the fact that I'm going to keep doing all of this work and the right people are going to come into my business and all of these great things are going to come. I don't know. I'm not like, I'm not Christian or anything, but I believe in the universe. And I think that I'm definitely on the path that I'm meant to be on and all the right people are going to come in along the way. And these beautiful things are going to happen. Um, so that's a little bit about my story. I'm going to share one tip for a newbie and then I'm going to share, um, kind of like my biggest tip with the business. So a tip for a newbie is you, you, don't be afraid of what people think about you. Unfortunately, we come into this business and we think all of our friends and all of our family and people that we went to school with are going to be the first people that are going to buy from us. And typically they're not. And that's okay. The beauty of social media in this business is that we don't, we don't have to have all of our friends and family supporting us. I was actually very lucky. My auntie was my first customer. Actually, sorry, my mum was my first customer. And then I think my auntie was um, but if you don't have friends and family, if you guys don't know about host to post, go to the person that enrolled you and ask about that. I, I think the month I went diamond, I signed 58 customers and at least 90% of them came from host to post that most of my customers and girls on my team are people I've never even met in my life before. And that's the beauty of social media. Um, and the biggest thing that I've taken away from this whole experience is if, if you're willing to learn and willing to put the hard work in consistently, it will pay off. This isn't something that you can post one time and send 10 messages and peace out for the next two weeks and be like, oh, my job's done here. No, it's just like a gym membership. You have to keep showing up every single day, a little bit every single day, and it will pay off. It's going to start building that muscle, muscle up and it will pay off. So that's kind of a little bit about me and what I have to share. Um, I hope that you guys can take something away from that. And the next person that was going to chat was Savannah. Yes, that is so awesome. Um, I think every time that I hear your story, I kind of like, I love it even more. And we relate, but yet we're so different in a lot of, in a lot of the areas. Like I said in the chat, like when you were talking about how like you were, that you just went through a breakup that's awful. But you know, it's like, you're, you're single, you don't have children. You're comparing yourself to all of these moms that have like these houses and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, well, I'm not single, but I don't have children. So, you know, that's, but that's just so awesome anyway. So I'm Savannah. I'm not Tanya, <laughs> obviously. And, um, but anyway, of course we miss our leader when she is not here, but that's where I come in. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, I joined in May of 2016. So I've been in a little over five years. And I was actually, or I am actually Tanya's first distributor that she had enrolled. Um, we are not strangers. We were not strangers, kind of, but not really. I, Tanya and I went to, we met at, um, at college. We both went to the same Bible college. And I was my last year, my sixth year in college, I had went, or I was like the RA kind of person, like in charge. So I was like her boss, her leader at one time, <laughs> but that was before, like, not before she met Jesus, but before she actually, she and Jesus had like a relationship. So she wasn't like the nicest of person. I was afraid of her. It's funny now that you like look back on it, but yeah, I was actually afraid of Tanya one time before. And, um, so for six years, we had like no contact. And whenever she messaged me, I would say like she had been in the business just a couple of weeks. And then when she reached out to me, I'm like, oh, girl, what you talking, what, what you messaging me for? Like, did you not like put me through enough crap in high college, you know, but, um, anyhow, so she had, um, you know, brought up the business kind of like small talk. That was before, like before Ray Higdon, like get to the point kind of deal when you're talking to people. But anyway, so we were kind of quote unquote catching up and she presented the business opportunity to me. And um, for, let's see her, actually her enroller, which she is no longer in the business, had talked to me about the business before, like uh, over a year ago or a year prior to Tanya reaching out to me. And then there was another girl that was local that I personally knew her. She was in the business also in, you know, posting, you know, black, green and bling. Mm, that was so five years ago. <laughs> and um, we all remember those time hop is 
is hilarious to me, especially like we know, like you don't even post like that anymore. But so I was kind of not really making fun of that girl, but I, she kept saying that how she was like paying for her car. I'm like, girl, you had that car before you was in this business. What you talking about? Anyway, so of course, it's still piquing my interest. And then when Tanya had reached out, it was like, like the statement is true. You cannot say the wrong thing to the right person. And that was in that, I mean, that was legit. Like I honestly thought the way that Tanya was talking, I just thought that she had been in the business for quite some time, literally didn't know that she'd been in like six weeks, but, um, so I have notes, so just excuse me. And this is my first online business. I had never done anything like this before, like, um, like any kind of selling, when we were in school, I went to a private school, so we were not government funded by no means. And so we had to do, we had to sell stuff and I absolutely hated it. So joining a quote unquote selling company, that was just hilarious to me. But anyhow, five years in and here I am. And um, so I was in for about a year. I went, uh, let's see, Ruby in a couple of months. I didn't sign my first distributor for six months. So Yeah just throwing that out there. And, um, I had went Emerald by my one year and, and I'm, and I'm Emerald still to this day. And, um, let's see first, uh, my year, one year in my mom, she was my first customer also. Now she's like a hundred pounds soaking wet. And so she didn't really need a lot of our products, but she was my best customer and she fell in love with the products. Tanya had, um, had kind of brought it to, not brought it to my attention, but like asked me what my thoughts were on my mom joining the business. And I'm like, hmm, kind of made me mad because I know that a lot of you probably don't know like my full story. This will be just a little bit in a nutshell. My parents already have a, um, had a successful business. My granddaddy, he had bought an old Sonic if you don't know what it is, just Google it. It's just a fast food restaurant. I could sell you something to make you fat. And then I can also sell you weight loss products at the same time. And, um, so we all were working really hard at our business, you know, family business. I worked with my parents and, you know, we were working seven days a week, you know, eight to 10 hour shift was nothing to me. And, um, so like I said, mom had joined me. She was already success, successful business owner. And, um, you know, she caught the vision. She ran with it. She promoted pretty fast as well. Um, of course, you know, she was, she's always been supportive of me and anything that I've ever wanted to do. But when I had brought like it works to her attention, she was kind of standoffish a little bit. And um, because like, 30 years ago, like my grandparents used to almost force her to be in network marketing, but that was little, like literally going to a hotel, like a next town over and opening up the phone book and, oh, here, let me call this person. That's what network marketing was forever ago. Aren't you glad we're not like that now? Mm. Anyhow, and we're, t- and we're scared, too scared to send a message. So all that to say, and, um, you know, she was in for a year and, um, well, she's still in the business actually. And, um, it's just with us working so much, like her help was declining. She, at one time, you know, she was like 85 pounds and, you know, she's not like a little short person or anything like that. So either way, it's just a lot of stress of like the bit of that particular, um, physical business. And, you know, so she had like the five-year plan. And there was one day I told her, I said, mother, you're not going to be alive in five years if we don't do something. So all of that to say, um, let's see, I don't remember actual dates, but needless to say in June of 2019, my parents and I, we had walked away from that business. The business had been in my family longer than I had been in my family. And, um, so now with all of this for two years, we have been full-time with it works and just the freedom of time that this business can give you. Like I said, I don't have children. So honestly, making a schedule, I had like five hours that I literally did nothing today and I almost felt like I was lazy, but 
I got my work done and I have a little bit of work left to do and then that's it. So this freedom of time that this business can give you is 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 wonderful and it's amazing. Now, of course, in between all of this, had a lot of life happen. I mean, that's for another Zoom at another time. But the only thing constant in my life at the time was that I worked almost 60 hours a week and it works. Nothing else was constant, consistent, nothing. It was like in an uproar. So I would work 10 hours and then I came home and I worked down and I worked at works. So that was just exactly what I needed. So this business came into my life at the perfect time. You, and, and it still has been like a saving grace for me. So anyway, so my tip for um, new, like the new people, the newbies is that don't be afraid to ask questions. If I don't understand something, I still ask Tanya questions and I should probably know this business in and out, <laughs> up and down, backwards and forwards. But I still ask her questions and we can't read your minds. So if you have a problem with something, ask us. We're, that's what we're here for. And then my biggest thing that I've learned while being in this business is be coachable. Things are changing like literally technology changes every five minutes. It's ridiculous. Like I was, I was in before uh, Facebook stories. So having, I had to learn stories, had to learn to do live and I'm learning Instagram. That's a story in itself, but however, just be coachable, even whenever, like if your leader or your enroller tells you to do something and you think it's obnoxious, do it anyway. Anyhow. Okay. I'm done now. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. I haven't heard your story before. That's really, really good. And I'm so glad that you're still here. Um, and I know what you mean about having a physical job. I mean, like I'm not tiny by any means, but having a physical job weighs up on you. I've had two knee reconstructions and a bone graft taken out of my hip and I'm not even 30 yet. And I was just working a few hours a night at a bar and it really took its toll on me in this business. Like you said, the freedom I just, yeah, I've always wanted to travel. And because of this, I can, and I can make a full-time income at the same time. So it's just the biggest blessing. Yes. My parents, right. they go all the time. My mom is gone again. She's coming back tomorrow to leave out again on Saturday. Like that's what the freedom of time can give you. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, we have Tina. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> I am Tina and I have been in this business for two and a half years. When I started, I was working um, a full-time job in a daycare. And uh, so I would do this um, while the kids were taking a nap, while I went to the restroom, you know, and then when I got home, I would fill it in throughout the night, you know, until I went to bed. Um, I started this job to make like $500 a month. Um, my biggest thing was to pay off my debt. Um, I had credit card debt and I'm still working on that because I chose to get Invisalign. Um, I struggled for years um, with my smile and like taking pictures. I hated my pictures taken because I had to put on a fake smile. Um, and now if you go to my page and you can scroll back to it, about three years because I've had my had my Invisalign for like two years, I believe, um, maybe a year and a half. But if you scroll back, you can look at my pictures and tell the difference. Um, uh, I haven't like shared what my teeth look like before on social media. I've been struggling doing that because I, I do show them like to people who talk to me and ask me about Invisalign. I will send them my pictures or show it to them. Um, but if I did not start doing uh, it works, I wouldn't have been able to get my smile. <laughs> and so um, that's something that this business has done for me. It has helped me um, have more confidence. Um, it's helped me not, yes, doing this right here. I still don't like it. Like, I do not like it. Like, I struggled. Like, I had it in a timer yesterday to write out my story. And I didn't do this until after six o'clock. <laughs> and so, um, but I like it because um, 
I can do stuff with my husband on the weekends when we're off and do it. I can work this business while we're driving. I can work this business while we're camping, while, um, you know, while we're going to go see family or something, I can work, work this business while the grandkids are taking a nap. You know, so I work it through my day. You know, I am not a scheduled person. I do not sit and write out my daily planner on what I'm doing every moment of the day because like, well, let me kind of back up a little bit. I worked at the daycare and COVID hit and we closed for spring break and the director decided not to open back up. So I had a little bit of time there just to work my business. And then I started having getting phone calls to keep people's kids. And so I'm actually keeping kids at home. And so now, even throughout my day, I keep kids and work this throughout my day while they're playing, while they're napping, you know, so I'm still working full time. I just have two businesses from my home. Um, so my biggest um, thing is um, just getting the freedom to be able to work and the residual income that I have every month, I get a paycheck every month. Like I've had a paycheck since I've started and has it decreased a little bit in some months? Yes, but this some months it's increased. And so that just um, makes me know that I'm doing the right thing. And this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm not a big dreamer on um, setting big, huge goals. My big goal is to retire my husband. And I made a mistake of saying that. So he'll come in and goes, how come you haven't retired me yet? I said, I'm working on it. I'm trying. I really am. So that's a big thing. I shouldn't have said that out loud, <laughs> you know, but that is my biggest goal is to get him retired. And I know one day if I keep this up, hopefully I'll be able to do it. If not, he'll retire on his own and then we'll still be able to enjoy life. And um, so um, let me see. I took notes. So, so um I have, um, like I said, I've paid off Invisalign. Um, it's totally paid for now. And, um, and so I use my commissions now to start, I'll start paying off my credit cards. This summer, I didn't watch as many kids. And so I use my commissions for, to pay off my, to pay my cell phone and, you know, and bills like that. And so starting in September, I'll be able to start paying off my debt that I've signed up, you know, to be able to pay off that. Um, Let's see. So my biggest thing for newbies is um, communication. Don't don't ever feel like you're asking a dumb question. Don't ever feel like um, that we're not going to listen to you. Um, that just communicate. You know, when when you ask a question and we ask you to do something or whatever, just reply back to us. Even if the answer is no, I haven't done that at least we know that you're still there. You're still wanting to do this. It's just, you didn't get to it right then. And that's okay. That's okay. There goes days that I don't do much with my business. There's some days that I'm lucky to get up a post on my wall, you know, and it's okay that you didn't get that task done. Just say, Hey, I'm sorry, but I didn't get that done today. That's okay. We'll get, we'll get it done. In, you know, the next time, you know, or something. Um, but just don't get frustrated with the nose because you're going to get no's. I still get no's. I get ghosted. I get blocked. Even after having a conversation with people, I still get blocked. I get still told no. And that's okay. That's part of it. You're going to get told no. And until they block you or um, until they die, you're just going to keep messaging them and either one time they're going to say yes and they're going to order or they're going to become a DT or at least they're still going to support your business even if they just continue liking and commenting on your post. I have somebody who they comment on my stuff and they just said I just do it for fun. I'm like okay that's cool because you're you're still helping me out you know so um that was my biggest thing for newbies. And um, don't get discouraged. Don't get so discouraged that you want to give up within the first few weeks. I, it used to be give us 90 days. I say give us a year. 
give us at least a year and let's see where you're at from from the time you sign up and a year later let's see where you where you were at before you throw it before you fully throw in the towel and um uh I don't know if there's anything else I need to say <laughs> no that, that's perfect you did great I, I okay. love you I love your story. That's so good. And you know, I mean, I started this with like minus like 4,000% confidence. Cause like I said, I relied on like what other people thought about me so much. I grew up thinking that I needed a man in my life to amount to anything. And what this business has taught me is that, you know, they say strangers on the internet will support you more than people that you know in your backyard. And that's so, so true. And I love that you've been able to play off your Invisalign and you have the goals there. And I think that that's so important. And it's something that I share with my team too, is that it doesn't matter this, like if it's a small goal, if you want to, you know, um, maybe able to pay for you kids school dance or something like that or you want to be able to retire your husband I think that just having a goal right in front of you is so important so that you have something to work on and like I said I kind of lost that when I went diamond I was like what do I do now and it took me out for quite a few months so thank you so much um we have Haley he's lucky last hi hey guys <laughs> <laughs> So y'all ignore the background noise. I have two toddlers that are here 24 seven. Um, so they're pretty loud. So just ignore them. Um, well, I am, um, I've been in this business for two and a half years now. I joined the business um, back in, um, I was pregnant with my daughter and my son hadn't even turned a year old yet. And I started watching my enroller when a month and a half after I found out I was pregnant and she was actually pregnant with her second at the same time. So she kind of kept pulling me in with that. And then I thought just people around me, just listening to everybody. I thought it was, it, it was a scam. So I came so close to blocking her. I tell her this all the time that it was, it was like, I was on that line. Like if I would have pushed that button, it would have been the end of it. And something stopped me from doing it and I didn't do it. And finally, um, I finally just said yes and I jumped in and it's literally been the best thing ever because I was and I have been a stay-at-home mom since then but when I found out I was so close my kids were so close together I was gonna have to send them to daycare so I could provide for them and help and and I wanted to find something I could do from home so I didn't have to leave them because yeah. I've got to watch every single thing my son had done for the last year and I was gonna miss all of that with my daughter and I did not want to do that so I said, yes, I joined this business and the month I was in the hospital having uh, my daughter, I went executive and I kind of sat there for a while. I didn't hit, I went to my first conference that, that year and I came home that month of February and I went Ruby that, that month and it's literally, and then I said at Ruby, I'm still at Ruby to this day and it's, it's been an eye open experience and I've had some difficulties come through and just some problems outside of this business that I have let slow me down with this business. And it's been one of the hardest things to keep pushing forward, but realizing that this business is not only going to get me through the bad parts, but it's going to keep pushing me towards the better parts. And it does. And there are times, there has been times that I've stopped working completely, but I just kept everything going and I would keep just telling my enroller that I was doing stuff and I wasn't because I didn't want to lose it. I just didn't know how to work it with everything else in my life. And I'm so big on personal development. Personal development has literally got me through every single thing that I've been through in this world. And it's not only benefiting my business, it benefits my life outside of my business. I feel like if I don't have some form of personal development, I'm not a good person. I'm not I'm, I'm just, everything else gets so tied up in it. So I feel like that's something that's huge that even if I was to leave this business tomorrow, I don't think I would ever stop personal development. And now that I've found it and now I realize what it is and why it's so important, I'm always going to do it. So I feel like that's my biggest thing is, is if you don't, if you don't feel like you have the time that day or something's going on that you can't work your business, make sure that no matter what you get done, you get your personal development done because it's going to push you even further. Once you do it and you realize that that's what you're supposed to be doing and you should have been doing it from the jump, it's going to help you work your business because it's there. It's, it's always going to be there. Personal development is something that um, 
I've always been, ever since I started it six months in, I don't think I've ever stopped it. Even when I was going through my rough patches, I would still pick up my books every day or listen to a podcast or something, even if I wasn't working my business. So I feel like that's my biggest thing for newbies is, is that if you haven't started personal development, to, you need to start it immediately. Even if you can't afford a book right now or anything, YouTube has so many free books out there and just podcasts and motivational speeches and stuff like that. You're going to find people that you relate with and just voices that like, there's so many people I can listen to their podcast and I just relate with their voice and it makes it like, it burns inside of me. So that I feel like if you're not doing it, that's something that should be done immediately. And you're going to see a shift in your business too, because it doing it is building yourself and it's going to build up your business. And it's also going to help you realize that there are rude people in here and there's people that you know that this opportunity you have is an amazing opportunity, but not everybody's going to see it that way. So you can't let their rudeness and let all the negative things they have to say get into your mind and stop you from doing because I have so many people that I've talked to that are so worried about other people will say or I've had girls on my team that got started and someone was rude to them so they never worked again so just if you have that rude person just it's hard and it's going to take time but just block them don't feed back into them don't say anything else to them block them and just go on with the next person because even if you could say something to them and change their mind, you don't want them on your team. You don't want them to be a part of your life because they're always going to have that negative feel in it. And um, my biggest tip is just to keep going. If you are, if you feel stuck one day, get back up the next day. Every day is a new day. We all have, there's so many people that say they don't have time to do it. We all have the same 24 hours in the day. We all can work it if you want to work it. If you, and have, have your heart and pour into it and know your why. If you don't know your why, you need to talk to your enroller so they can explain to you why it's so important to have your why and what, why you need it to be strong because it's going to help you move this business and it's going to pick you up and get you going every single day. Mama, mama. Thanks, girlfriend. That was awesome. You know what? I love I love the fact that we've all been in for like two plus years and that, that we're still here. And I think so many people, we compare ourselves to people that have come in and they've gone diamond in 90 days. And that is great. And it's inspiring. But don't let that take you off course. You know, we've been in for two, two plus years. We're still here, um, not giving up and still having those goals in front of you. And I love that you said, Haley about personal development, because my goodness, I wish I had an, like, I wish they taught that in school. I spent every lunchtime when I was in high school in the school counselor's office thinking that there was something wrong with me. I think I got told all the time when I was younger, I'm too much. You're too loud. No one cares that you, that you want to share so much. And I've always been told that. And I love that this business just truly allows you to be who you are and doing personal development, like Haley was saying. Um, even if you don't get anything done for your business as such, it's going to make you want to like personal development just makes me like want to be the best version of myself. And this means that like sharing this business opportunity with so many other people and the point about having no time, I've just started think like a monk. So if you guys have, I've got it on audible and I haven't started listening to it, but I bought the book um, and my team and I are starting to read it together. But something he says in there, I've only read like the first chapter is that it's so easy for us to sit down and watch TV for 60 minutes and think, oh, that flew by. But if you want to sit down and, and read a personal development book or work your business for 60 minutes, and there is so much that you can get done in 60 minutes, like it blows my mind. It's called Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. He's actually, if you guys have got your I think it's full for you guys, um, your full conference tickets. Um, he's actually going to be there um, and he's going to speak. It's It'll be spring for me. It's so confusing, but I'll be three o'clock in the morning and I'll be there. Um, <laughs> so if you guys don't have your ticket, make sure that you've got that. But yeah, that book is like so you've started it. Awesome. Yeah. That book is so good. I've only just started reading it and I feel like I'm kind of aligning into like my purpose. And if I didn't have this business, you guys, I think all of us would be a lot, a lot sadder, a lot more lonely, not really like I didn't have hope. And that's one thing that I like to tell my newbies is that we still have debt when we join. The day we click join, we still have debt. We still have, you know, 
maybe a bad situation. But what I had when I clicked that submit button is I had hope that my life wasn't going to be exactly the same way in a year to five years from now. And to look back and see what I've done in the past almost five years, just I like, I can't even believe it half the time when I realize and I sit down, I'm like, I should be at work right now. Like I'm about to start traveling across the country and all around. I'm like, I should, I should be at work. That shouldn't, that shouldn't be what I'm doing, but this business has given us the vehicle to do that. And so I'm so excited to see where the rest of the year takes all of us. Thank you guys for being on. Um, yeah, I don't think that I have anything more to share. I think Savannah, I nearly just called you Tonya then because you're like right there and it says Tonya. <laughs> you can go ahead and stop the recording.